This is a very brief video on how to compile and run a C program on the Raspberry Pi. You need only be familiar with how to navigate the Linux terminal. The first step is to make a file for our program. I've already made one called first.c, where .c is the file extension for C files. We can take a look at it using nano. Let's first go over each line of this program. The include statement tells the compiler to include stdio.h, which is the standard input and output library. This will enable the compiler to understand various input and output functions, such as the printf function. If we don't need to input or output to the terminal or to another file, then we can leave out this statement. On the other hand, every C program must include a main function. Here we see that main is of the type int and has no parameters being passed into it as the parentheses are empty. Right now, these details might seem a little confusing, but the important thing to understand is that our program starts at this open brace and ends at this close brace. Now this program only does one thing, and that is it prints hello pi to the terminal. printf is a function that will print what is between the parentheses. We use quotation marks to indicate that we are printing a string of text. Backslash n is an escape sequence which makes a new line of text. Essentially, it's as if enter is pressed at the end of the string. Lastly, return 0 exits the main function and returns a value of 0. Consider this to be an exit command. Now we must be careful to finish every statement in a function with a semicolon. This is the only way that the compiler knows that a statement is finished. This also means that whitespace has no meaning. So this space, and the tapping done here, is only done to help with readability. Even though we have a complete program, we cannot directly run it. We need to first compile it into an executable file, which we can do from the terminal. We use gcc to compile our file first.c. We use the option o to indicate the output file, in this case, simply first. To execute the file, we type dot, forward slash, and the name of the executable file, first. There we have it, our first C program.